So we're gonna yell at. Do I get to yell at him, or are you gonna yell yeah, at him? One, I don't care. Connor. <laughs> nice to meet you. All right, folks. I got me a new mower. I bought this uh, mower, and uh, this fella here. He's here from Turf Equipment and Irrigation, and he brought me the mower. I think this way thing weighs about 200 pounds. I know that it's very heavy, but let's get it out of there. Let's see. So I got to put it all the way down. Does it go down to like an inch? On the setting? Yeah, it's got to go all the way to the lowest setting. It goes. Hey. So that's so off. that's the that's the on off switch right yep. there. Choke. Yep. Oh, it's got a manual choke. Sweet. None yep. of that crappy auto choke. Nope, no auto. What's this? Air filter? Yes. All right. Pretty simple. Yeah. Pretty simple. Height the this is the right height. There. Yep. For all four, or or does it? Uh, is there one for the front? There. No, that does all four. Okay. And then they beefed up the deck, and of course with a heavier transmission, you got more torque, so they beefed up the wheels too. Okay. Okay. So it's got a lot of power. Exactly. And so you, I can like mow through crap. Yeah. Uh, yes. And you bag yours, I'm saying. Yeah, I'm a bag man. Okay. So there's a mulch plug in there and a side discharge. Where I will you never can do use whatever that. you want with. If I if I have a wild eye and I want to mulch, can I just shut the back? No. You have to put this in. This is your plug. That's the mulch plug. Yep. Okay. You just put it in right there? Yep. All right, folks, so let's see how low this baby can go. Put it all the way down. One and a half. It says it'll only go one and a half, so that's a that's a disappointment. So let's uh, get, let's give this a shot, see if it cuts off anything. I'm not thinking it's going to cut off anything, but let's try it. All right, so this is gonna be the inaugural startup. Aim, you get back here. You have to be here. When I start this baby up and run it for the first time. And that, this safety latch, that's gonna have to get removed as well. All right, so he said to put it in the choke mode. This is really nice, no, none of that auto choke and that other piece of crap Honda. So I'm gonna put it on choke mode and give it a rip and go for it. One pull, that's really nice. Doesn't look like it cut anything off actually. Nothing. I don't see any difference at all. So that's a little bit of a disappointment. But I'm just gonna have to make my modifications to the mower. Let's see what's in here. And just as suspected, there's nothing in there but just a little bit of uh, debris. So I need something that can pick up debris, so that's uh it's one of the main reasons I bought this mower actually. So my other f mower kind of, the fan hit the crap and so it was just a little bit of a, a crap shoot with that thing. But I guess you get what you pay for. That was a cheap mower. It's only, I think, 400 bucks I paid for that thing. I didn't love that mower and it's not a fantastic machine. So I do have high hopes for this mower. I'm going to uh, see if I can get some washers and uh, lower this baby down, maybe do some cutting with it, I don't know. All right, folks, I'm gonna try the old uh, washer under the blade trick that I showed you a couple years back. I'm gonna see if that works on this mower. Should work just fine. Ooh, maybe not, actually. Oh, that's bad, folks. Very bad. I don't know if that's gonna work. I think I'm gonna have to figure out something because this little this little spacer here has a key and it fits just in there like that. And then this side has a key and it fits in there like that. I don't know what to do. Well, I think you might. I, if anybody can figure something out. It's, it's definitely not me. It is you. No. Like, oh, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that. Confidence that you can figure it out. You can bypass any rules. 
I don't bypass rules. Yeah. No. The complete confidence. That it's on me. Bypass rules. That is a big fat suck, I tell you what. I'm gonna put the blade back on while I kind of think about this. Kind of think about how this could possibly be. Never fear, folks. I will figure this out and I will get this thing lowered down so I can mow low. Either that or maybe I'll have to figure out how to get the tires to go lower. And don't ever want to do this with the spark plug in. Because it could start up on you and rip your hand right off. So, oh, wait a minute. Wait just one minute. I didn't put the front down, only the back got put down because he said it was only one lever. That's a bunch of crap there. The front got never never got put down. So we need to just go like this. There. So I think I'm gonna get a better and a different experience now that I've got the front tires and the back tires lower down to its lowest setting, which is an inch and a half. So says the side of the motor. So I really like how it's got the blade stop or whatever, how you can let go of the bail bar and the engine will still run. Not a fan of this, uh, this safety um, mechanism right here. This holds the bail bar down. So when you wanna mow, you can't just grab this and throw it down. You have to push that down and then push that down and that engages the blade. And then this rear handle back here uh, is the self propel. I like that feature, the self-propel. It seems to have a lot of power and it just will get up and go. I really like that. But this, that's gotta go. That is definitely gonna have to get modified and taken off. And then I'm looking at the lawn here and it didn't it didn't cut off anything. So it's crazy, 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 I tell you what. I don't know. So I'm not sure what to do or how I'm gonna handle that. But I cannot have, I need a rotary that can kind of do the heavy lifting for me because the the reel really doesn't do any heavy lifting this is going to work out for me I know it is so let's I'm gonna take it over there where the lawn's a little bit longer let's see what kind of cut we get uh, at an inch and a half So that's it. I definitely am gonna to have to figure out how to get this baby lowered down a little bit more. I did several passes in the front and maybe just a little bit around the back. And you can see here, just a handful of clippings. So, so that's not quite where I want it to be height wise, but I will figure something out on how to get that thing lowered down a little bit more and I'll, I'll make it work. So the lawn is ready for the real mower and I have every intention to get it out really soon, but I have so much to do. I'll tell you what, I've got to work on the shed. I uh, haven't made hardly any progress on the shed. I need to mow the lawn back here. Uh, this, this lawn mower over here broke on me, this Honda. I had more issues with the drive and the transmission. So I was using this other mower over here that piece of crap MTD and I was pushing it and that was quite quite the effort to do that I wouldn't say that was an enjoy the mow type experience that's why I got that guy because that is going to be one heck of a machine if I can get the height where I need to get it I need to finish the John Deere mower as well I'm almost done with that I just need to put the deck on and I'm excited to show you that as well so I apologize for not getting a video out sooner than this but I my heart's got to be in this guys I got I've got to be able to um, do this out of love and not out of I got to make a video so 
That's gonna do it for this video. I appreciate you guys, the best viewers on YouTube. I wanna congratulate uh, Mr. Knorr for his 100,000 subscribers. That's uh, one heck of, a, of, a, of an accomplishment in this category. So I appreciate all the all of you guys and that's gonna do it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. All right, so we're back down at the old Swing Arm City place. Today is like 25th or something of uh, April and I'm cooking up some dinner here. All right, so let's take a look and see what we got going on inside the pot here. Doing some Dutch oven cooking at camp. Oh, the flame went out. Dang it. So it's pretty windy out here. Having a hard time keeping the flame going. So let's take a look and see how they're uh, doing in there. So they look good, but as you can see, they're not cooking all that well because the heat was off. And I just, just barely took note that the, that the flame wasn't even going, the heat was off. All right, so these meatballs here, these are a 50-50 mix of ground pork and ground chuck. The breadcrumb source is bread, bread soaked in milk. I know it sounds crazy, but it gives the meatballs a very soft texture and uh, fall apart uh, flavor. So I feel like we're really cooking away at the deal now. Now they've got the heat kind of blasting. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, sweet. The goal is to get, a, get the caramelization like that on all of them. So you can see there, there, there. It's just super heavenly stuff, I tell you what, folks. This stuff is just some good hometown cooking. All right, so we're gonna cook this sucker up for a few more minutes with the lid off. See if we can get the, so the meatballs to caramelize. Nice. Try that stuff on the... That looks so this? good, too. Yeah, that caramel. Yeah, try that. Try that. Yeah? Good. You wanna try it? Sure. Try that. A piece on the end. That, yeah. Delicious. Yeah, that's what they say. It's delicious, folks. Is that a meatball or something? Yeah. Oh, Tyler's ultimate. Uh, uh, Tyler's ultimate. Tyler's ultimate. Yeah. yeah, so it's called Tyler's Ultimate on Food Network. That's kind of where we learned how to make this. A lot of food. <laughs> Actually, kind of where we learned to make a lot of good, really, really good food. So, we're going to put the lid on there, let it heat all the way through. Try to just Try to get the internal temperature of these meatballs up. Then we're just going to add a bottled sauce. We don't normally like to do that. We normally like to use his old uh, Tyler Florence's tomato kind of saucy recipe. It's like a San Marzano sauce that you put with this. Oh my gosh, it's divine! But we're not doing that. Uh, we're just we kind of just start going with a bottled sauce, which is pretty disappointing, but. It's the only thing we could find at three in the morning, you know what I mean? When you're driving at three in the morning and there's a coronavirus pandemic, everything is closed. And then if you happen upon a gas station at three in the morning that happens to have a bottle of sauce, you take it. So that's what we did. Why not? <laughs> 